got their thing in life that you know keeps them happy, and I, I love fighting. It's an outlet, I guess, in many ways. I it's um, it's intriguing. I love training martial arts. Raw has been one of the biggest mentors in my martial arts career, teaching me all his techniques that he's learned over the years. And now look, I pull him on top. And what's my mistake? Wrong side. I'm on the wrong side. I'm taking him to the side of my head. And hook. Once I hook, I bring him back. Cross my ankles back into our position. And I lean the leg, my arm over the head. And here he's locked in tight. Cross is a good leader, you know, he's, uh, he's obviously provided us with an amazing facility with tons of mat space, uh, a cage, and then the talent's just flooding in, you know, and uh, like I said, he's a good leader, you know, uh, he's always there to, you know, study footage and, and study fights and be there for us at our fights, so he's always bringing in new techniques, plus all the new guys that come in, so, you know, it's, um, it's a combination of many things, but Cross does a great job of you know, taking the horse by the reins and, and you know, uh, leading us, I guess, so to say. Uh, there's always going to be a golden goose at a gym, you know. Uh, there's always going to be uh, one guy that, you know, has a lot of success, but, you know, that's always changing and, you know, that's a good thing. You should always be happy for your, 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 your brothers that, uh, you know, they have uh, success in their careers, you know. So, uh, you know, I'm happy that I've had success and hopefully I can continue to have even more success in the near future. And I'm just trying to get better, man. I, I'm not worried about if uh, I'm more popular than the next guy. I'm just trying to get in there, uh, prepare myself for my fights. And, you know, uh, I'm looking at the fight. I want to smash people's faces in. That's it. I'm having fun doing that. I'm not. I'm not here for a popularity contest or anything. But uh, I understand um, when you have success, uh, you know the attention is on you, and uh, you know I don't go to my way to uh, be seen or uh, things like that or have uh, you know paparazzi or people swarming me all the time. Like I'm not that kind of popular or star or anything like that. So. I'm just a regular guy with a family and I come and train and then I, I have my fights. So uh, I have a pretty normal life, I think. Nothing really uh, interferes with it. I'm not looking for fame other than it bringing me uh, monetary gains. <laughs> you know, if I could stay on the down low as much as possible, uh, I'm, I'm cool with that. Um, but I understand there's a balance. I'm trying to find that balance. I, I really like getting into you know hard contests. You know I I'm a I'm a scrappy guy, so that nothing changes there. I'm uh, I I obviously want to be on the, you know the giving end of the the fight, but you know then rather than the receiving. But uh, sometimes it happens, and you know I think I'm built for that. You know I can I can give as well as receive, and I you know I have no problem with that. Um, I'm sure I'm gonna have some some post-traumatic stress or whatever, some concussion syndrome, but whatever. Uh, this is what I'm built for. This is what I'm meant to do, and I'm having fun doing it. So uh, I'm gonna live my life the way I want. fight whoever the people want to see me fight whoever's gonna tune in most to see me fight them you know and, you know whatever weight division I've already told them I don't care what weight division I'll fight anybody I'd like to fight for the title uh, middleweight or welterweight if that's the best matchup what comes then I'll take that <laughs>